Industrial and collaborative robots are taking over manufacturing at an unprecedented rate. The International Federation of Robotics has predicted that nearly 2 million new robots will be installed in industrial settings by the end of 2022. With more industrial robots than ever available for the plant floor and the introduction of new collaborative robots, it can be challenging to decide which one is the right fit for your specific application. So how do you choose what's right for you? Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Elsasser. Today I will be exploring the differences between traditional industrial robots and collaborative robots. We'll look at installation requirements for each type of robot, common applications, and implementation options. All with the goal of helping you decide the best automation path for your operation. So how do you choose what's right for you? Traditional industrial robots have been a factory automation standard for decades where they excel in menial, dangerous, or otherwise difficult tasks for human workers. You may know them as being used for applications like assembly, packaging, palletizing, painting, and welding. Heavy-duty applications like automotive manufacturing are possible with industrial robots, where payload requirements can be in the thousands of pounds. Industrial robot installations involve extensive space requirements, safety fencing, and a high degree of programming expertise. This generally means a greater investment by your company and a potentially longer return on investment. Without a strong internal engineering team on site, your company is best served by partnering with a third-party integrator or machine builder to make your project successful. Which, by the way, Neff can help refer one to you. Collaborative robots, or cobots, came on the scene about 10 years ago and have quickly grown in popularity and market share. Collaborative robots are specifically designed for direct interaction with a human in a defined workspace. Cobots are increasingly taking over low-skilled tasks in manufacturing facilities like machine tending, pick and place, finishing, quality inspection, and end-of-line palletizing. These are where payloads are relatively light. In addition to a cobot suite of safety features, they're designed to place automation control back into the hands of operators and technicians. Cobots are relatively easy to program, requiring very little training and zero coding. Because they require no guarding, cobot cells can take up very little floor space and are even able to be redeployed easily throughout your facility floor. So which one should you choose for your operation? Lucky for you, you don't have to make that decision alone. NEF represents both Kawasaki Industrial Robots and Universal Robots Cobots. Both are top tier companies with best in class products. And the team of robot specialists and application engineers at NEF would be happy to explore your operation and consult on the best robot automation solution for you, now and in the future. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about robotics, reach out to your local NEF account representative or check out nefautomation.com today.